All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, love, and salutations to the elect that are pushing this truth and truth and sincerity, risking their freedom and their lives to do so. Uh, you know, I just wanted to uh, bring out a quick, you know, a morning hitter. All right, Lord willing, uh, be edifying to the elect. Uh, you know, you see all this uh, news media outlets uh, uh, persecuting the body, man, beginning to uh, uh, bring down that hammer, that persecution. All right, uh, you know, every, everybody's talking about it, as you see, uh, as you see here, if brothers haven't watched this video, man, this is a must watch, uh, but I want to go ahead and grab a part of this news article, too. It says, uh, Black Hebrew Israelites, an obscure theology, has become the focus of the controversy related to the face-off in Washington, D.C. that has sparked a national debate about politics. All right, so the whole nation is debating about it, man. And, uh, uh, so like you finish it up, it says, politics, race, religion, social media, and, and civility. You know, we know through the prophecies that, uh, you know, eventually the social media will be shut down. The YouTube pages will be shut down. And, uh, you know, this is just the beginning of it, man. Which which is beautiful because it's the beginning of, uh, uh, of Esau's calamity, which is also the beginning of sorrows. You know, so it's get, just going to get tougher, man. It's going to get harder. And, uh, you know, my, uh, just speaking on a personal testimony, man, uh, my woman, you know, when she had seen this, you know, she started getting all worried and, you know, having a, a, you know, just having a demon, man. You know, all worried and, and, and frightened about, you know, the things that are to come. Which, you know, I don't know why because, you know, these are the things that we've been saying, man. We've been saying that this will happen. And, uh, you know, we're, we're continuing to say that it's just going to get worse. All right. So, you know, it's nothing to, be, to marvel at, nothing to be surprised about. And, uh, you know, it's, it's time for, for that faith to flourish, man. To really have that faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, let me uh, let me go ahead. Let me just play a little piece of this video before we grab a couple of scriptures here. But we damn sure should not be in disagreement like when it comes to the result, what it is that we want. I'm not telling you to get out there and put on the outfits that the Hebrew Israelites wear and to be calling white folks screaming, you know, cursed Edomites in the streets. I'm not telling you. So, you know, going into it, man, he's breaking down how, uh, you know, they, they're the, the, the news media outlets are uh, demonizing us, you know, and, and they even go into our history, you know, going all the way back to the old school, going all the way back to uh, Abba Vivens, man. But yet they still continue to call us black Hebrew Israelites. You know, they, they, you know that they know that that's not our uh, title, man. We're not associated with the word black, all right? Uh, but, but we are, in fact, Hebrew Israelites. But uh, let's go ahead and grab a couple scriptures, man. You know, let's just be an exhortation for uh, brothers to remain uh, patient. This is Job 2, <clears throat> and verse 9, it says, Then said his wife unto him, all right, speaking of uh, Job's woman, all right, because this is, this is what went through my head when, uh, when you know, my uh, uh, woman had started acting up, man. But, you know, that's why the scriptures say those that, those that have wives be as though they have none. Um, you know, because this truth comes first, man. You got to have your priorities in line. And, uh, you know, Job is a perfect testimony to that. Because once that persecution started hitting, man, this is what his uh, this is what his woman said. All right, it says, Then said the, his wife unto him, Doest thou still retain thine integrity? Right, meaning meaning uh, his patience, his integrity in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And she said, Curse the heavenly Father and die. 
But he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What, shall we receive good at the hand of the heavenly Father? And shall we not receive evil? Right. You're going to receive evil, man. You're going to receive a, a, a tribulation and persecution. We're going to get a, 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 another scripture on it here in a second. It says, uh, Salakia, in all this, did not Job sin with his lips? Right. And, you know, we're, we're really, we're all impure, man. We're all hoping for that salvation in Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. And this persecution is coming to purify the elect and to, and to destroy the two-thirds. All right, so it could, it could be worse, man. You could be a two-third and not have no idea what's happening, man. These, these, those families are marked for death, all right? And, you know, though, you know, we, we, we just simply hope for mercies, man. You know, the odds are that many of our women aren't going to make it because you see a, a testimony to uh, Job's woman, all right? Many of our kids might not even make it, man. But that's why we just have that hope. And at the end of the day, man, Yahweh's will be done. All right, that shows you the separation between Esau and ourselves. All right, Esau is just running scared and trying to do everything they can to uh, uh, avoid prophecy. All right, and meanwhile, man, we, we just can't wait to get the hell out of here, man. No matter what, we know that Yahweh Shimei Shai's will will be done, and there's nothing you could do about it. All right? It's like the brother Zakaria had told me one time, a uh, brother from uh, D.C., you know, as, as, as you see these words written, man, you might as well count them done. Because how about Shimei Shai is not a liar. It's not a man that he should lie. All right? Uh, you. This is James 5 and 11. This is, Behold, we count them happy which endure. Right, because... You know, persecution's only going to get worse, man. The uh, uh, temptations, all right? The great hour of temptation, man. The, the year of Karagma is here, man. So it's nothing to marvel at either that we see this going on. All right? The, the, this chip will begin to be pushed. And that's going to be a, a, a great hour in which you need endurance, man. It says, let me read that again. Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard of the patience of Job. Right? So Job was written for an example unto us, man, to, to constantly endure, to constantly have faith. And even when your woman uh, bucks up against you, which she will, you know, continue to endure. All right. It says, uh, you have heard the patience of Job and have seen the end of the heavenly father or the end of the end of the Lord, the master, that uh, meaning, meaning the end of the story of Job. All right. And, and, and was he not? Uh, merciful to him did he not receive his glory though it seemed like he might not have he continued to endure man because at the end of the day he knew that no matter what Yahweh's will is going to be done what you're going to go off and be a nigga and still get destroyed anyway <laughs> it says it says you have seen the patience of job and have seen the end of the lord that the that the that the lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy right we understand that Yahweh by shimei shai is of tender mercy all right, and that's what we're seeking is for that tender mercy, man. Just like David was always praying for his tender mercies to come to him, man. We're hoping for those tender mercies. All right, but we understand that no matter what, his will is going to be done. And he's also very austere, all right, with, with, with wrath, just like it's written in the uh, uh, parable within the book of Luke. All right, he's a, a austere man. So in that, hey, I would rather... Uh, uh, strive for mercy than uh, uh, die the death of the two-third all right but uh, that's about it man I just wanted to pull out this quick hitter um, you know through the spirit to uh, just edify the brother man stay uh, uh, stay on top man stay on top of your game don't get caught in slack don't uh, uh, do nothing foolish we're being watched, man. Our eyes are upon us. And anything you do could paint a picture on the backs of the elders and the apostles. And that goes for all these different camps out there, man. No matter what you affiliate yourself with. call yourself If you just call yourself a, a, a Hebrew Israelite and you're not affiliated with any of these, uh, uh, any of these camps, any of these groups out here, you know, you're, you're still underneath that banner. They still view us as the same... Uh, the same people, man. 
which you know we are we're all we're all hebrew israelites you know and we're all pushing the truth in some some way shape or form but you know the elect will be led to the doctrine of gms great millstone all right we truly believe in that all right and uh you know with that Double honors to the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone that rule well. And peace, love, and salutations to the elect, man. Remember stay, to stay patient. We're going to be, our doors might be bashed in, man. We're going to suffer a lot of things. But at the end of the day, continue in patience, man. Continue in integrity. I remember the story of Job. Remember the stories of old. Shalom.